Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo or Carl Hunga 712 and uh, I figured I'd do a video today for you guys, but uh, just a little info in the background gameplay. Um, basically here I'm playing the tactical gameplay uh, playlist on Infinite Warfare, and if you haven't tried it, I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. I've been having a blast on it. It's all I've basically been playing lately is the uh, uh, tactical gameplay playlist so if you guys aren't familiar with it uh, the tactical playlist is uh, basically boots on the ground um, there are a couple of spots on the maps where you can wall run but it's really not useful it's more for getting from spot A to spot B basically um, and uh, like I said it's just it's a really fun game it's really fun playlist I'm, I'm having a lot of fun on it um, and uh, I just want to thank my subscribers lately I've been live streaming a lot so make sure you check uh, some of those past live streams out if you'd like to. Uh, I've been trying to stream usually every night or a couple times a week. So, uh, uh, like I said, thanks a lot for that. I think I've gained like 20 subs in the last week and a half, so I really appreciate that. But uh, what I wanted to do today is talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some of the info we've gotten from uh, Michael Condry at Sledgehammer Games. You can check out his Twitter page, too, um, if you'd like, or if you watch some of the other uh, popular uh, gaming YouTubers that... Uh, focus on Call of Duty, I'm sure they've discussed it too. And um, I figured I'd give you a little background from an old uh, competitive gamer um, that still plays once in a while, and just somebody that's played Call of Duty for quite a while, and just kind of what his opinion is on the matter. And that's uh, that basically the next Call of Duty will not have an unlimited sprint, um, or basically unlimited sprint will not be built into the game like we've seen in the last uh, three Call of Duties. Uh, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and uh, Infinite Warfare. And uh, I know watching some of the other, other videos, kind of what uh, people were talking about and everything, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably think that's not really that big of a deal, that Unlimited Sprint won't be back in the game, but it's, it's, gonna fun, it's going to fundamentally change the game um, compared to what it's been the last three years. And uh, I think some people are going to be taken aback by that, <clears throat> uh, the changes that we're going to see come to the game without having uh, an unlimited sprint built into the game. Now, if you guys go back and play the older Call of Duties, um, you know, any of the boots on the ground games, basically anything from Ghost and then uh, before that, you know, everything was boots on the ground up until Advanced Warfare. And... Uh, there were a couple of games where you had a pro perk where you could run unlimited, uh, where you could have basically an unlimited sprint. I want to say it was, was it MW2 and Black Ops 1? Was there a marathon pro perk that let you, I think there was a marathon pro perk that uh, allowed you to sprint uh, for an infinite amount of time. And then some of the other games like Black Ops 2 had a, oh God, what was it called? Um, <clears throat> extreme conditioning, where you basically could run a little longer than you normally could. And, uh, and like I said, I, I understand that a lot of people probably think that's not a big idea, but I think it's going to be a big change uh, for some, especially those who have really liked the faster-paced Call of Duties of recent times. And uh, some of you gamers that have uh, basically gotten into the Call of Duty scene um, after the uh, jetpacks basically came into the game, the 3D movement, um, the EXO movement. And... Uh, Talking real quick from a competitive point of view, if you guys play competitively and you haven't actually played competitively on the older Call of Duties like uh, like Ghosts or uh, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, those games, um, there's, there's a timing aspect of it that you end up learning when you play in tournaments and when you play competitively. Um, uh, some of the competitive game modes, if you guys have never played them or if you're not a competitive player, or maybe you've played some of the competitive modes but in casual, a uh, hard point, capture the flag, uh, search and destroy. I don't think we'll see uplink uh, in the next game since there's not a, a 3D movement to get the, uh, the satellite drone into the uh, uplink area. But uh, getting back to the timing aspect of it, uh, if you go on and play search and destroy, if you play hard point, if you play capture the flag... Um, not having an unlimited sprint is definitely going to change the outlook of the game, and I think what it's going to do is it's going to make the game much more uh, tactical, which I've always preferred more of a tactical uh, game where you are you know, you have to outposition people. Um, it doesn't just come down to uh, reflexes. You also have to have smarts on the, uh, on the field, basically, 
And uh, that's how you'll win a lot of matches is by using your intelligence and out-positioning people, which you'll see me do a lot in this gameplay in the background. And typically when I die, it's because I'm not... I, I'm basically out of position. But uh, also with the timing aspects of it... Um, you know, let's say you plant the bomb and search and destroy. You know, there's there's two bomb sites if you've never played S and D. Um, there's an A site and a B site. Well, on the newer Call of Duties, let's say it was a one v one. You're on defense. Uh, the other person has the bomb and they have to plant it at one of the sites. So you're basically going back and forth checking both sites. Okay, let's say you get down to ten seconds. You're at one of the bomb sites. Let's just say you're at the bomb bomb site A. But you know. You're down to about eight seconds. Okay, there's nobody at a bomb site. The other person has to be at the B bomb site. Okay, in the older Call of Duties, that's going to take you probably more than five seconds to run over to. But in the newer COD, you can basically jump from one side of the map to the other so quickly that it makes uh, it it makes the game much more random. Um, you can check bomb sites quicker. Um, in hard point, if you guys have never played hard point, it's like domination kind of. Um, you have one specific site that you have to hold for a while then it moves from different sites to different parts of the map and uh with hard point uh basically in the newer call of duties if you die in the hard point give up your position you can move so fast across the map you can traverse so quickly across the map that it doesn't really hurt you that much to die while you're on the hill even if everybody dies you can basically get back to the hard point in probably about five seconds now in the older call of duties where there wasn't that unlimited sprint and uh, the 3D movement, um, you know, your life mattered a lot more in these competitive modes. You couldn't cross the map in four seconds, you know, like you can now. Um, and, you know, again, it just changes, changes the timing of the game and how the game's played. Not to mention Capture the Flag. If you guys have never played Capture the Flag, um, if you die in, in Capture the Flag, there's a spawn delay. So you're, you're basically off the map. I think it was like five or seven seconds, something around there. It's been a while since I played CTF. Um, but uh, <clears throat> when you're off the map for that long, if somebody pulls the flag and gets to the enemy or gets back to their base and you've got to get back there and try to get the flag before they cap it, um, if you die and spawn out, you're probably not getting across the map in five or six seconds to catch that person. And like I said, I think it's going to help the game and I think it's going to, uh, it's going to bring a lot of people back to Call of Duty that kind of left the game um, and I know Call of Duty every year it changes a little bit. There's a few new few new things put in there. But I know there's a lot of older Call of Duty players that quit playing the game. Uh, one of my best friends, Jesse, who's one of the best Call of Duty players I ever played with, quit playing it because of the 3D movement. He got tired of the, the chaos and, and everybody being 35 feet up in the air, jumping and spinning and twirling and stuff. Um, I got used to the uh, advanced movement games. Uh, my KDs were probably the highest in those Um next to uh, Ghost and Black Ops 2, but, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't have a problem with the 3D movement games. I think they were okay at times. I think it was nice to have a little change going from <clears throat> basically the slower gameplay of Ghost to a faster-paced game like Advanced Warfare. Like I said, I wasn't a big fan of AW, um, <clears throat> and I've always preferred the boots-on-the-ground Call of Duties anyways, but... Um, like I said, I'm tying the the unlimited sprint in with the with the 3D movement, the fast movement, because they kind of go together. You know, you have you have an unlimited sprint, and you can slide and boost jump, and you know, it's just I think it's going to change the game quite a bit. Like I said, I don't think it's going to change the game to make it worse. It's just going to be different, and uh, I think for a lot of uh, newer players or, or players that were used to the uh, 3D movement, I think it's going to take them a while. Especially if you're a player like that too, it's hey, uh, it's going to take me a while too to get used to being back on the ground again, compared to these last three Call of Duties. But uh, <clears throat> I think it's just going to take some people. It's going to take people some time um, to get used to that again. And I'd like to hear in the comment section too what you guys think. If you if you guys are looking forward to that <clears throat> more tactical, slower, controlled gameplay, or if, or if you like kind of the bouncy, fast paced. Uh, always in the action type of uh, game that you know the last three Call of Duties have been and I and I do think people are gonna miss the uh, the advanced movement um, I'm gonna make a video on that so if you guys uh, want to check that out I'll probably make it here in another day or two where I talk about uh, some things you'll probably miss from the advanced movement games and uh, <clears throat> and like I, but like I said I think it's gonna be interesting I'm, I'm really curious to see what Sledgehammer Games does with this next game. <clears throat> I said it from the beginning. Once they made AW, I said they're not going back to that. 
Uh, luckily, I was right, you know, because I, I like this older, more tactical gameplay, and that's why I chose the gameplay in the background today for you guys, but... Uh, um, but like I said, again, in the comment section, I'd like to hear from you guys if you guys are excited for the, uh, for the older uh, style Call of Duties or if you still like this uh, futuristic stuff. Um, I definitely don't have a problem with, uh, with the 3D movement, but I am excited to get back to normal Call of Duty where, you know, it's, it's not just all about reflexes and, and you know, twitchy movement and, and everything. It's, it's going to also be about map knowledge and others, other things as well, so... I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comment section, but I'll see you guys next video, and bow out.